Yeah, currently the, the full pathway and the impact of P53 on Alzheimer's and dementia isn't really clearly known. We did publish a paper uh, last year or last year on the potential pathways that's been given by about 15 publications in the last 20 years, where we talk about the upregulators, downregulators of P53 that are involved in the, the brain and Alzheimer's. And it was obviously an apparent that amyloid and some very, very early precursors like oxidative stress are involved in the regulation of P53 and P53 is involved in their regulation. And then downstream of that, when the P53 is changed in terms of its levels and the unfolded P53 is created, the other things like tau are impacted and increased levels of amyloid as well. So it's really integral in the two stages of the pathway of dementia being formed, but it does seem to be very, very uh, relevant into the formation of dementia. And obviously, P53 is a well-known target for oncology. People have been studying it for 30, 40 years. In fact, I used to run a liquid biopsy company that was a cancer company. And obviously, P53 was the one of the genetic markers and targets you looked at for that.